Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm actually going to be doing a review because I hauled these two products in I think three videos ago or four videos ago and I was going to test them out for a week but I've actually had these for over a long time. I'm going to talk about them today. They are a new product by Rouge Underground and they look like this. They have multiple ones for um, your face and then they have stuff like serums and then they also have a spray like airbrush foundation. But those didn't really seem appealing to me and there was only four shades and they seemed kind of orange so, and it was like a really expensive foundation. I think it was like 27 or something. So this is what the product looks like. It is two ounces so it's a pretty big bottle and it just comes cap is hard to get off but it does come in a spray form this is a setting spray it is rouge underground professional cosmetics and it is powdered by luminous air it's makeup sealant before it melts away this protects your makeup to look fresh all day and night apparently it can hold through rain snow humidity, everything like that. You have to do is shake it well and then you just spray it evenly all over your face when you're finished with your makeup. Now, my overall opinion on this, it feels like your face is stiff after you spray it. It's basically like, you if you go like that, you'll see like all your wrinkles, you know? And it just feels like your face, it, you kind of feel like your, your makeup's melting off, but at the same time, you feel like you can't really move your face like you just sprayed a lot of hairspray all over your face. But then give it a minute or so and then it just feels back to normal. I did use it today to lock in my makeup. I just did my makeup 10 minutes ago, so <laughs> I can't really say anything about it today. But I have been using it more so often. I, I would say I'm not in love with it. I don't think I would repurchase it just because I don't really believe in... Um, setting sprays but if you're one of the people that do I would definitely give this a try I really liked it when I first bought it I was like oh my goodness my eyeshadows look very vibrant but I'm one of those lazy people that just kind of forgets about the setting spray overall I think that anyone who loves setting sprays and want to give this a go I definitely recommend it the price I will put right here I can't remember but it was a little higher um, but a little lower than Urban Decay but it is for all skin type shades and tones so it is a quick spray that seals in all your makeup. Overall, I would say I don't love it, but I'm definitely going to use this baby until it runs out because I think it does work. But like I said, I'm lazy, so I kind of just forget about this stuff. Yeah. The next product I thought I was going to be super excited about, this is called Rouge Underground Professional Cosmetics Power Powered by Luminous Air. It is a skin detexturizer and it's supposed to give the effect that you have smoother looking skin. It is clinically tested and non-irritating. Avoid eye area. Keep out of reach of children. So what this bad boy is supposed to do is instantly transforms your skin to erase the look of fine lines, wrinkles, and pores. Apply after a moisturizer or wear it underneath your foundation. So all you do, and I'll zoom on in this when I'm done talking about it, but it is a pump. And it is kind of like a little serum. Do you guys see that right there? And it blends really in. It's super soft, like a primer. Um, I would consider this like a primer. It does make your skin feel super soft. However, I bought it because I am getting just a little baby fine lines and I mostly did it for the pores on my nose because they are like medium sized pores. Um, but overall, I didn't think it made my makeup stay on, kind of like a primer. It does say put on before your foundation and that's how I applied it. I did put it on today and it did make my foundation look a lot smoother and then I always spray this after when I use these two together. So overall, I don't think that this would be worth to try to be honest they had a whole variety for different skin types they had stuff for like redness um just go check it out on their website i got these two products at ulta go try this one i wouldn't try this one i mean i don't think it's worth it to be honest um i don't think it really worked i just think it just felt really good on my skin but yeah I don't know if this interview is just terrible, but just give you guys my honest opinion on what I thought about these products. I tested them out for a while, and I'm just trying to get back to you because I said I would do a review, and a lot of you guys wanted to know what I thought. It did smooth out, like all my, it like blurred out everything, but over when the day just kept going on and on, my foundation just was kind of 
you know, looking a little patchy. It just didn't really stay on. I use Dermablend and that stuff stays on, I'm telling you. So go try this setting spray if you want to give that a go, but I don't think this is worth it. Um, they do have a little display case, and if you guys try out the foundations, please let me know what you guys think about them, and let me zoom on this so you guys know what it looks like. So this is what the packaging looks like. This is a 7-point millimeter bottle, so it is very small compared to the setting spray. See that? Yeah. And then the pump looks like that, and let's do a close-up of the gel. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video because this was so short I am going to go ahead and film swatches this is of the new NYX five piece lip gloss sets in the legends so stay tuned for that it will be up after this video and I'm super excited I think I'm more excited for the next video um, but let me know what you guys think if you do try these out if you have if you have buy them let me know on my social media on my Facebook or Twitter and I'll talk to you guys later Bye.